So I studied abroad in Berlin my junior year of college, even though I didn't speak a word of German before I got on that plane, but <laughs> knew I wanted to go. So the first thing that I did was one of those uh, bus tours where you like you check out all the big sites. So we went to the gate, big tower, Berlin Wall Monument. The trip was already amazing. And the sunset was just so beautiful. And something, you know, something just came over me. And I was like, look, I wanna do something. I, 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 want, I want to be somebody, somebody that I always knew that I was, but I've never given myself permission, right? Hey, Pete, no, don't chew that. No, excuse me. Come here. That's expensive. That's expensive. Got to introduce you to my little peanut. She's getting a little fat. That's all right. She lives a pretty good life. Anyway, that night, I decide to go out to a club, but I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. I walk in and uh, there's a coat check. Only people are checking most of their clothes along with their coats. So I do it too. I enter, get a drink, and then take it all in. It was wild, man. I have, I have never seen anything like it. And everyone is, is speaking in German and, and they just sound so different and interesting. And I just felt so boring, and lonely. And then this couple waves me over, start dancing together, having fun. <laughs> and, uh, the girl asks if I'm a virgin. And I was like, nah. Because, <laughs> you know, I wasn't like a, like a virgin virgin, right? But then the guy clarifies and he's like, no, no, no. She means, are you new to all of this? And I say, well, yeah. <laughs> and they ask if I like them. I said, yes. I was really, you know, I was, I was attracted to her, but you know, their energy, like what they were putting out together, it was, it was so sexy, you know? Like everything that I'd done up to that point was just so normal. And they just seemed so cool. And here I was in the middle of Berlin. Peanuts! God. You know, I put them on a diet because she's getting fat. Um, and it's, it's the same amount of food, but it's like no grains. And I guess she's used to eating the rice or whatever the hell's in the normal food that you give them. So she might complain a little bit, but just ignore her. Um, anyway, so after a while, a couple takes me to another club, right? We get in and there's all these doms and subs and it's just it's so sexy. There's like flogging demonstrations and bondage and I'm so confused, but also turned on. Like <laughs> I just admired what the two of them had, you know? Anyway, after some time, they invite me back to their place for a nightcap and uh, we get there and the girl asks if I would like to be tied up. And now, I, I ain't never done anything like that before, but I said yes without, without any hesitation. So she goes and she gets this royal blue rope. She hands it to the guy and he starts to tie me up. He asks me, do I want to be suspended? Now, I got no idea what that means. So I just smile and say, I'm up for anything. <laughs> And the next thing that I know, I am tied, bound, gagged, and hanging from their ceiling from rings that they put in. <laughs> it was <laughs> incredible, but I was also scared. So uh, she comes over and she puts her finger in front of my mouth and she says, what is your safe word? Midnight. I say, Mitenacht, she replies. 
We only speak German from here on out. I don't speak German. So uh, here I am just going with the flow. <laughs> and uh, I'll spare you the details of what we did, what we almost did, what she did to me, what he did to me, the times I said Mita not, and the times I elected not to. When we're done, they lay me down gracefully, untie me, and a few days later, I head to class. And I just can't concentrate because every time I close my eyes, all I can see is that royal blue robe. So I go back to the club, looking for them. And they are not there, but I meet someone else who teaches me something I don't know. And I go back and I learn something else. And again, and again. And let's just say by the end of the summer, I was experienced enough to know what I like and what I don't like. I didn't really learn that much German, but I learned quite a bit about myself. So, how about you? You got a safe word? Peen, meet a knocked. <laughs>